Daytona Sunset Orange Metallic exterior paint was replaced by Atomic Orange Metallic. Unlike the color it replaced, Atomic Orange was an extra cost due to an additional tint coat. Orange was $750 extra. And just for your information, 1,368 were made of this color in 2007. This beautiful car has only 39,000 miles on it. As you can see, our headlights are in very good shape. The front emblem has been blacked out on the car. Um, I don't see any major rock chips or issues with it. Um, as far as the hood is concerned, great tread depth on the tires and the wheels are free of any curb rash. This is an automatic. This is uh, considered a loaded car for the day, so you have the heads-up display, navigation, stereo controls on the steering wheel. Tan interior is in very good shape, as you can see, free of any rips, tears, or issues. Weather stripping is in good shape as well. And our top, these tan tops do tend to get some... Uh, dirt to them, but this one is in really good shape. It's free of any major issues. Um, and I'm going to have Rick come over to this side. I do want to point something out. So on all tan tops, be it a 5th generation or 6th generation car, even a 7th, what we start to see after a while is these markings that are on them. And those do not come out. car is completely stock and would be a great addition to your driveway. Folks, give me a holler 770-605-2056 or email john at buyavet.net if we can assist you with this or any of the hundreds of Corvettes we carry in stock. As always, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can see all this fun new inventory first. We'll see you all out on the road.